Hello people! Welcome back to Food Glam Life. I hope you're doing very, very well. So, a brief introduction. <laughs> I just want to let you know, I listen to you guys when you ask and request for certain particular videos. I've said this before, I take everyone's suggestions and if they make sense, I just sort of start noting them down in my diary and then one by one, as the time comes along, I tick them off. So, NIDS25 or 125. I think it's NIDS25. Shout out to you for suggesting this video. You wanted me to do a review on Saeed Ghani's skincare products. Now, obviously, they have a certain range of products and I had to obviously go for my skin type, which is dry, but I did notice a lot of their ingredients are similar. So knowing about the ingredients is extremely important. Why? Because Saeed Ghani gives the impression of being a very natural and in certain cases, and to a certain extent they are when it comes to their oils and some of the Multani Mitti or so they give you the image of being a very natural almost organic kind of ingredients in in the stuff that they make so that's why it's really important for us to pay attention to whatever the ingredients are we're putting on our skin so let me just get, uh, first get into the products that I went with I didn't get a cleanser but I did get the main thing. So I went with the Zafran, which is saffron, Zafran themed uh, stuff mostly. This is the Zafran cream. And now see, it says 100% pure on the packaging. The packaging really could, you know, I really want to talk to them and tell them, you know, please improve this stuff. They have spelling errors. Anyway, so this is a Zafran cream. They say use it day and night, take appropriate amount and gen rub it gently on your face till it absorb into skin. Total fairness treat with anti-aging effect. Uh, not true <laughs> and then I got the saffron plus rose water and I'm going to go uh, one by one with all of these and then you know you can sort of take this like my personal experience and then apply it to the rest of the products if you know if that works for you so rose water is really good for your skin they say this is suitable for all skin for everyday use natural saffron all natural sources saffron and real red roses it's a facial tonic and antiseptic so they talk about saffron apart from from imparting its exotic flavor and aroma to several recipes. Saffron possesses beauty benefits as well, which is true. It has natural skin lightening qualities. Saffron can be beneficial for your skin, for radiant skin, for fairer skin. What is up with our obsession with fairer skin? Treatment of acne and blemishes. Treatment of dull skin for luminous complexion as a toner improves face texture. Treatment of dry skin. Okay, so this one was 200 rupees and uh, this one was, I think, yeah, 220. Not expensive at all, but we'll get into that. And then they have this thing about what rose water and, you know, it helps sensitive and irritated skin and all of that. And then finally, I have the Multani Mitti Plus Lavender. Now, the cool thing about this, like, I have dry skin, so I got this stuff for dry skin. And normally, Multani Mitti is great for oily skin and for tightening up your pores. But they mention here on the back for dry skin, because for regular skin, they just say mix it with rose water. Regular, by I mean my normal or oily skin. And uh, for dry skin, they said to take some of the mud, fresh milk, honey, and rose water and make a, uh, make a mask. I also added a little bit of, I think, almond oil, I want to say. I just want to show you. This guy's on my lap. <laughs> and so you just apply it and let it dry up. It really tightens up your skin. Don't talk when you have it on. This I liked. I like that it says they are committed to recycling and they use recyclable material whenever possible. Even the packaging on this is, is kind of interesting. It's in this, you know. Okay, the others mentioned the price. This one didn't <coughs> mention a price. Probably isn't too much. Okay, let's go by let's go one by one. I tried these out for like a month. So I chose these based upon my skincare needs, which is dry skin. I'll okay, I won't say I used them for a month. I got them a month ago, but I used them for a couple of weeks. I just want you to know, first of all, going back to the whole image of being pure and natural, please don't be fooled by this. They make you want to think that that they're completely herbal, that they're completely natural, that the ingredients used in it are very pure. I have a, a few issues with 
some of this stuff. The only product in this that mentions the actual ingredients is this cream and I'll read you that. The rose water does not mention, I mean, even if it is rose water plus saffron, it should say, you know, whatever amount of rose water, whatever amount of distilled water, what sort of saffron, like extract or whatever it is. They don't mention any of that. The only thing you see is that compared to other rose waters, this is a very, very bright, almost urine kind of a yellow. The smell, it smells more like rose water. It does, it barely smells like saffron. So it kind of makes me think, did they just put color into this? What's in it? Why can't we know? I mean, it's 2018. You've been around since 1888. Get it together. Start putting all of your ingredients on your boxes and get your spellings right. This one does have the ingredients mentioned on it. I was wrong. I'm sorry. This ha They say it has refined Multani mud powder and lavender leaf powder. And it's suitable for all ages and it doesn't give any side effects on any type of skin according to them. It doesn't have any chemicals and it's constant use. Gives your face a natural glow and will make you more beautiful. Beautiful. So this product, the face mask, you basically mix it together, you sort of make it into your own consistency however much you want. They really don't even give to give you quantities, uh, like how much to put in, it's just sort of on your own, like it just says take little quantity of so and so and so. That being said, I've used it on myself, other people have used it in the household and we like this, it's not bad. My biggest problem was actually, and I'm going to go into this, is this cream. This is a Zafran cream. It definitely smells very strongly of Zafran. But I want to read you the ingredients and then we're going to go over this, okay? So the ingredients in this are mineral oil, glycerin, acetyl alcohol, stearic acid, propylene glycol, dimethicone, petroleum jelly, perfume, rose water, carbopol, pure Zafran, propylparaben, and methylparaben. Right off the bat, you can see that there are a lot of problems with these ingredients, especially if it says it's 100% pure. What does that even mean? 100% pure what? A lot of people are highly against mineral oil. Again, there are two, two schools of thought. A lot of the makeup and skincare products we do use tend to have mineral oil in them. So one school of thought finds them very harmful and toxic and others in the industry say that the cosmetic grade mineral oil is not harmful because it's extremely refined. So so that you know is up to you you do your own research regarding that glycerin is good for your skin a lot of these things dimethicone is is basically what we have in a lot of our serums and our primers you know it gives you that sort of a vel very velvety sort of touch in you know your primers petroleum jelly like that's just why it's like putting you don't put vaseline on your face that's pure petroleum jelly and then a perfume rose water and then parabens as you uh, may know parabens are basically preservatives that a lot of companies are starting to cut out of their especially their skincare line because they're not very helpful for your skin over time it's said that they get absorbed into your skin and can cause various different illnesses and diseases uh, so that again i would leave up to you to research more so you understand where I'm going with this like this generally was problematic for me and the, during the days that I got this and I started using it I was already extremely dry this is one of my driest areas right here I was extremely extremely dry to the extent where I was getting like you know almost like eczema sort it was drying up and hardening and actually hurting like it was peeling off all of that being said regarding the ingredients if you're still interested in learning more about this cream let me just share with you my personal pros and cons that i experienced while using this so as I said, during the time when I got this, I was extremely, extremely dry. You know, the winter here has been extremely dry and very tough on us Islamabadis. So I was just in a really bad state until I got my, my peeling facial done and I started using some other products. I used this for a little while and honestly, I didn't really feel like it helped me much. I will say that it is, you know, for dry skin, you would think, you know, it's a very emollient kind of a cream. It absorbs well into your skin it initially it feels a little greasy but then it absorbs and then surprisingly it dries down 
I think that would be the alcohol part of it that it just dries down a lot but if you have extremely dry skin it you know it's not really going to help that in the long run and it actually was making things worse for me I would not recommend this for oily skin um, like even right now I feel a little bit of tackiness it's got a very strong saffron fragrance I personally don't mind that I like that smell but a lot of people don't like it so if you don't like that smell you're not going to like this because it it stays like I can smell it on my hand you're getting 85 grams of product on in this I was actually using this twice a day like in the morning and in the evening on purpose just to test it out just for you Nida it wasn't doing anything positive for me now you would think if she hated it so much why is this jar almost completely empty and that is because I did find a use for it is that I stopped using it on my face and my face also is very sensitive so if you don't have very sensitive skin maybe it will not harm your skin as much I started using this on my body uh, as a body moisturizer the skin on my body like on my arms and my legs is not as sensitive as the skin on my face I use it in conjunction with my Johnson's baby oil gel which has shea and cocoa butter and I'll just sort of mix both of them together and use them all over my body especially after a shower that is the best time to apply your moisturizer because your skin absorbs the moisturizer and hydrates really well at that time so that's a use that I got out of it but all of that being said if you are expecting something that's going to be very natural herbal kind of an experience say honey it should be giving you those things you are going to be extremely disappointed as was I I'm did not like this I would not recommend this whenever it comes to skincare I think you know even more than makeup first of all you really need to um, research or at least see what ingredients are in the products that you're using and what kind of reviews also there are out there I've had some really bad experiences in the past when I was younger you know going for cheap mask not all cheap products are bad for you some of the freeman stuff is very very affordable palmer's is very affordable and not all of it is really bad for you but i'm just saying that you know just if you invest a little bit more and look for better quality ingredients and better products that suits your skin as well it's going to help you out more in the long term and yes if you do want to use say any products I, I'm not bashing all of their line honestly some of their stuff is really good their oils or their carrier oils are really good more than all of this you could make your own elixir with certain oils and rose water and glycerin and if you want me to do a video on a DIY on how to make a really great elixir to get that glowing sort of look on your face and to end dullness and dryness then do let me know in the comments below and I will do a video on that I have made this in the past and used it and also given out a bottle to a friend of mine and if you have the same sort of skin conditions as me it's going to be the best thing because that at one point I mean I haven't made it for a while I would just use that especially at night and it really helped soothe my skin and uh, sort of take that extreme dryness and tightness and and dullness away and it really really helped my skin you know natural is good natural in a lot of ways is best as well but once again this is not natural the rest is up to you anyway I hope that was a helpful and comprehensive review of some of the Saeed Rani skincare line I didn't use a facial cleanser I'm not regretting it <laughs> considering what I know of their products. Rose water, their rose water honestly is not bad. I don't even think you need to get the saffron one, just get the regular one. Uh, this is just, I think this is just something of a gimmick. And I, I feel like there's color in it more than anything else. This, I don't think has pure saffron in it. As you and I both know, saffron or saffron is one of the most expensive products and ingredients out there. There is no way possible that they would put pure saffron in this and it would cost 220 rupees. I think it has saffron essence just for the smell. I don't know what percentage of real saffron they have in this. Quite honestly, I think it's zero because what, also why is it so white? 
it's not possible. Zafran has that yellow color and this has none of that. And it doesn't even have like threads of a saffron or anything. So at least they should have had that. I think this is kind of a sham. They really need to look back into this. Rose water is so easily available in Pakistan and it's made by a whole bunch of different companies. So you can get that or you can even make your own. I've made my own, which I kind of like. It's kind of darker in color. It's got the rose color you can make it with. If you have roses at your house, just take some of the petals right before they're about to dry out and make your own rose water and if you'd like to know how to make that then let me know about that as well sorry about my voice my throat is really really hurting right now so on that note I'm going to end this video right here I hope you enjoyed this and if you did please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and also please subscribe if you haven't already I hope to see you next time take care goodbye Mwah.